Hello, this is a much more up-to-date Joff speaking on a personal device just to add a few things. Um, and with the personal device you can see and judge all my taskbar and things. Well, first off, sorry about the audio. I've worked out that previously, a while ago when I was recording these videos, actually, I've only just got around to finishing editing them. Um, I put the microphone next to an open window. I haven't changed the microphone. Yeah, that, that's it. It's just an open window. And also, uh, previously, looking at the context menu, I would shift right click and open PowerShell window here to do stuff. But instead, it's not going away, help. There we go. Instead you can just type CMD. That's the thing. Also you can type in websites here, let's go google.com. I don't know why that works, it just does. All right, that's it, on with the rest of the video. So to set up and use a Minecraft server, we'll want to get Java first because Minecraft server servers run with Java. So we just search for Java JDK, which we will need later anyway. That will that will get the main Java that runs, but also something we can write programs with. Uh, so if we go to JDK download. Just get the the one for your operating system. I'm doing this for Windows. So just get the installer.exe. Make sure you got that box tick. There we go. And there we go. And it should just be okay to, to give us the wizard now. Just click next. There we go. You can click close there. Get rid of that. Close those tabs. And then to get the paper server, we want to go to papermc.io. So I'll just go to 1.16.5 because this is, uh, it's a lot more up to date, I guess you could say. There's not going to be any more 1.16 updates and it's been in development for a little bit longer. So we'll just leave this to download. Keep. And then uh, you want to copy that. Let's go into documents and make a new folder. Let's just call it 1.16.5. Paper MC server doesn't really matter that much. And then what you want to do here is I'm holding shift and right click and I'm doing open PowerShell window here. And that means I can just type in commands as if I was in that location. The, uh, the command is just java dash jar uh, paper. 1.16.5-779.jar or whatever your whatever your jar file is called and that, that would have the same effect as double clicking on that but I, I'd rather not do that because you can you can do a little more with the command line and also the advantage uh, an advantage of Doing it with PowerShell or CMD, it doesn't really matter which one, but I just use PowerShell because you can do the right click thing. Um, is you, you can see all the output logs, and there we go, it's finished now. Apart from, it's not quite. If we were to run this again, um, we'd need to change the, the EULA and then it would work fine. You can see um, it failed to load eula.txt and you need to agree to the, the eula I suppose I should say eula so just type in true control s get rid of that um, same command again and then this should be a, a server running I suppose I should try and join on a different device Oops. And, uh, 
Yeah, we've got allow access. Right, I'm on a different computer right now, and uh, you should see my player appear. I just need to make sure I've got my IP. I'll type in IP config. So you've got the the typical output here, but you also have this box which you can type things in. Let's say, say hello, and that appears here. It should be the Hyperalien, which is my player name, logging in any minute now. And there we go. I've got to say hello from my Minecraft player, and there we go. That's the spigot, no, not spigot, no, that's the paper server working. To stop it, you can type stop here, or you can type stop here. Either is fine. And this should eventually close.